being able to connect to your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and even cellular data devices is very important. But every now and then on Android, these things can kind of glitch out and prevent you from connecting to them. Now, depending on what issue you're having before, you would have to dive into various areas of the Android system and the settings area to reset these individual um, network data connection issues. But with the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus, Samsung has combined all of these into just one simple option. So today I'm going to show you how to fix both Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and cellular data connection issues on the device in one easy step. To start, we're just going to go ahead and launch the settings application. And we're going to scroll down a bit and then tap on the general management option. And then right here toward the bottom, you can see we have a reset option. We're going to tap on the reset option. Not only can you do a factory data reset in case you need to reset your entire Android operating system, but there's also an option right here called to called reset network settings. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Just a regular reset network settings that will reset and blanket out everything dealing with Wi-Fi, mobile data, and Bluetooth. So this means if you have any devices connected to your Bluetooth, then they're going to be gone after this reset. If you have any saved Wi-Fi network points, then they're going to be gone. And after doing this reset, your phone is going to have to reconnect to your mobile data automatically, which shouldn't take more than a couple seconds. So once we get here, of course, we're just going to tap the single reset settings button. We're going to tap the reset settings button again. And then we're going to be told the network, the network settings have been reset. Now you see instantly we have lost our connection to our Wi-Fi network. And since we don't have any current active connections, Android is telling us that we have some open Wi-Fi networks available. And again, that's going to reset and remove all Bluetooth devices. And if you're connected to mobile data, you're probably going to take a few seconds before you retain that connection and can use mobile data again. So as you can see, this is a very quick and very easy way to reset all of these different things. Instead of having to go through, like for, for Bluetooth, you would need to go through settings and then applications and then system applications and then find the Bluetooth share application and do a reset on it. Now Samsung just has it in one simple convenient spot. 